changes basically anything different than what you're doing today. So change can be as simple as changing how you order stationery to major structural changes in the organization. So when change is managed poorly in an organization, there'll be a number of factors that, that come out. So there'll be things like resistance, there'll be a lack of trust, lack of support, um, and all of those factors can play a role in a change not being accepted in the organization. Often, if people are going through a through change and they're feeling a sense of apprehension about it, um, it can actually cause an amygdala hijack because people are in a, a fight or flight sort of response to it. So they're not able to look at other options that the change can present, they're simply fighting for their lives. Um, so that can cause a lot of issues in the organization as well. So the symptoms of poorly managed change can be um, that changes are actually not being adopted in the organization, that there's a lot of churn uh, amongst both the employees and, and also much amongst management, um, that they're not able to get a footing for new ideas, there's not innovative thought happening uh, because people are resisting and holding on to the status quo. So if you're seeing that those organizations aren't able to kind of adapt, move forward, that's resistance to change.